the format of being robot. On August 15, 2001, a broadcast under the name, KZO4 TV News, in Chicago, was halted after an interruption happened. A weird and disturbing segment called, The Gateway to the Blind Sighting Mind. Eyewitnesses were able to record the segment, and sell VHS bootlegged copies of the recording, and some even sewed DVDs and USB flash drives. What was so special about the segment, that made people bootleg the hell out of it? One word. Mind. This was meant to be a relaxing mental training segment that went way too far. Remember when Jim Henson did a segment called, The Organized Mind, released in July 1966? That was supposed to be the darker version of it. The segment clocked at 100 minutes, or for regular people, 1 hour and 40 minutes. What you're about to hear is recollection of the segment from two men recorded, to keep their identities safe, the two are both anonymous. The person talking is a robotic voice, with that out of the way, here's the transcript. So, could you recollect about your experience? Well, um, it started off. It showed the title card in the middle of space with the name shown, the gateway to the blind sighting mind, with what sounded like a theremin in the background. <coughs> then it showed a claymation face. He had purple skin, green teeth and two white eyes. He spoke, but it sounded soft. Do you mind whispering it to the microphone? I'm empty. After he said this, he inhaled and exhaled, as a voice in the background was telling the audience to let go, let your mind go and let it free. Almost like he was motivating the people to join with him. Welcome in. Please sit next to the person and you can join. Everything from that point that I heard was just about right. Want me to finish? Mm-hmm. At the 50 mark of the guy just saying let go, a loud scream was heard. Screaming what? Oh God, let it go. You're trapped inside. Let it free, damn it. Calm down, sir. Calm down. We get it. <sighs> At the near end, the head explodes as the narrator is only present. All he said was, Thank you for your time, you are free. Thank you both for your time, and we will report anything else. Goodbye. After the events that unfolded, it cut to an error screen, and then went to the next programming. On September 12, 2001, all news broadcasts were closed for the day after the events unfolded, just a month after the incident. The team at KZO4 TV News burned the footage, and kept the talk of the incident shut until now. Two recent eBay listings were shown for the footage and its entirety, even some splitting into or three parts. They were both delisted and then later, both sellers accounts were deleted. Side note. There is no picture of the title card, nor pictures of the segment were surfaced, due to the VHS tape's corrupted nature.